you guys it's Linda welcome back to another video today I am going to talk about a specific topic and it's about one of my favorite colors to use and it's yellow because yellow can be quite tricky to apply and why are yellow eyeshadows always kind of patchy and hard to get even? That is one topic that I'm gonna dive in today and I'm also gonna do a tutorial on this look. So before we start the actual tutorial, let's talk a little bit about the yellow color and the yellow pigment. But because yellow is a lovely color, it's suitable for every eye color, every skin color, it's just, an amazing color that suits everyone. Yellow can be really hard to get even, it often gets patchy or milky or it just doesn't turn out right. And it's not because the actual eyeshadow formula is bad, it's more about the actual pigment of yellow, like the yellow pigment, because yellow pigment is usually more dry than other pigments. It's the same for purple, for example. I have been looking for good purple matte eyeshadow forever and it seems like every purple eyeshadow turns out to be a little bit patchy and it's also because the actual pigment is very dry. So that's why you have to put in more white in the color to make it more creamy. And that is why it's really hard to find a really good, high quality, pigmented, very, very bright yellow color. But if you have a very, very bright yellow color that still is a little bit patchy and you can seem to get it right, don't throw it away. When you work with yellow and when you work with other colors that are very bright, my best tip is to, actually, to work with a colored base underneath. So for example, for yellow, when I work with yellow, I always use the Happy Mood Crayon that is bright yellow. This is also the case. All of our colors are really creamy. The yellow color is a little bit more dry than the others because of the pigments, but I really, really wanted a bright yellow shade. Otherwise it would have been more pastel yellow and more creamy, but I still wanted this really, really um, yellow, bright yellow color, but it's still very, very creamy and bright yellow. So you can use that underneath just as a primer to make the eyeshadow go on more even on the eyelid. Or you can use other creamy products, for example, from Danessa Myricks. She has this waterproof cream palette that is called Primary Palette. This color here, the yellow, can be used as a as a cream base. You see how creamy it goes on? So what I'm gonna use for this video is the Happy Mood Crayon as a base, just to show you how you can use this. And I'm not gonna use a primer underneath because these crayons are easier to apply when you have a little bit of oil left on your eyelid. Then I take a brush and you have to be quite quick to blend. And take one eye at a time. Then I'm gonna go with the yellow eyeshadow and I'm using the Vice Art Editorial Brights palette. And here I'm gonna use the yellow pigment and I think I will apply with my fingers first just to see the payoff. This is actually the best yellow eyeshadow I have. If it still turns out very, very patchy, you can save it by go over with a shimmery yellow or golden eyeshadow. But I will try to do this completely matte. So I'm really trying to set the the crayon, especially in the crease, because I tend to have very oily eyelids, so I always have to set the eyeshadow a little bit extra in the crease. So I have the yellow on, now it's very yellow. I am going to continue with my eyeliner. So I'm starting with the wing. Ok, 
Okay, so time for mascara and I am going to use Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm going to put on some false lashes so I am not going to curl my lashes today. And also I'm going to do my tight lining with this. With the same brush and the same mascara. Still no creasing with the eyeshadow, so I guess I said it enough. I really, really enjoy wearing yellow. I think it's so... It makes me, it makes me really happy. Next step is false lashes. I am gonna see if I have some cool false lashes for you guys that I haven't showed before. I have this pair from Eldora Eyelashes. And they are called M115. I think they are very in line with what I want. I want this almond shaped eye with sh shorter lashes on the inside and longer lashes on the outside of the eye. So I think these are going to be a good match for this look. So guys, what kind of trends are you excited about for the summer? I, I would love to see more personality, more like expressions in makeup. I would really love, love, love that. I think I need to apply some mascara on these. They are very like, almost turning inwards on the outside. Usually when they do that, I just cut that last little part off. But I, I really like the lash, it's cute. A little bit fluffy. This one was fluffier than the other ones. I think they, yeah, they're handmade, so one lash may not be, may not look the same as the other lash. So I'm gonna grab my Tarte mascara again and my brush. Usually I do it from both sides and I want to kind of clump them together a little bit. I kind of told myself that I was not supposed to do a bold lip today, but I kind of changed my mind because I couldn't really find something in that pink shade that I wanted. So let's go for a very, very bright pink shade instead. And this is called uh, Vivid Velvet Liquid Lipstick from Nabla. The color is Vivid Velvet. And this is pink. This is more like a fuchsia color. Hey, I actually love this lip to this look. In the end, you should always do makeup for yourself, not because you want to please someone else, okay? If you want to see how I do my fake freckles and my base more in detail, you can go watch my latest video it's gonna come, it's gonna pop up in the end of this video. So now I'm using from my hideously uh, dirty and kind of well used infinity palette uh, Virgil, the golden highlighter, and also I'm mixing it together with Milky Way that is more cool toned. And so I'm gonna use Andromeda as my blush. I think I'm gonna use, no, you know what? I'm gonna use Pinwheel, the more pink one. It's more cool toned pink. I think that will look good to this. To have more flushed cheeks. I'm gonna apply it more on my, on the apple cheeks today. So, and as you can see, I have no powder in my face right now. Cause I really wanna keep the dewy, areas dewy I will use some powder afterwards to just mattify like my forehead it looks like a mirror right now because I am quite oily especially now it's so crazy to say that it's getting warm in Sweden but it's kind of getting warm in Sweden and our apartment is very very warm so as soon as the sun comes up, 
the apartment turns into a sauna and I get really warm in here so I also get really really shiny now I'm just mixing together Cigar Mafe and Swiggy these three shades here to just add some kind of contour to my face I'm gonna use infinity filter in light to that's what that was medium that was not light I want to keep this area here dewy so I'm not gonna put any powder there so I think this might be my final look I really hope you like the explanation on why yellow eyeshadow is so hard to apply and also I hope you like my little tutorial of the yellow eyeshadow and very pink that did not turn into a natural lip. I really hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to thumbs up the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!